shoes. Okay, we got this. <laughs> Hi, everyone! Oh, I'm cut off. Oh, cut off. We're gonna this up. Move my chair! Hey, everyone! How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Hello, DD Rossler? I guess? <laughs> uh, yeah! So, welcome to the stream. If you guys don't know, I'm Victoria, the community manager for Kitfox Games, and I'm with John Wu, the programmer. Okay, Fox Games, you guys might remember him from before. Um, so, basically today we'll be playing two games for you. One is Reigns Game, uh, Reigns, and one is uh, This War of Mine. I think we'll be playing This War of Mine first, just because it's a little more longer than Reigns is. Uh, yeah, and the whole point of this is really just talking about the game, a little bit of analysis. I know uh, for this war of mine, we really wanted to talk about the story, like telling dark stories and how like a game can tell that. Just because Shrouded Isle, if you guys don't know, is coming out and it's also kind of a really dark premise. And Reigns is really about how we can make choices or how we make choices in games, especially since if you guys don't know about it, it's a heavily heavy decision-based game, so I guess both are. So. <laughs> both are uh, both are very interesting from like the as far as like the weight of any given choice that you make in the game, uh, for very different reasons, of course. Um, and uh, like truthfully, like uh, you know, both projects uh, they were like very inspirational like during the development of the Shroud Battle. So, and uh, yeah, we will be looking at uh, the structural similarities and like the choices that maybe they made versus the choices that we made for the Shroud Battle. Yeah. So. Let's get started. Ooh, uh. You guys weren't supposed to see that, but you saw that. <laughs> I was checking out some Steam reviews. Um, yeah, so first is this war of mine. Um, feel free to throw in any questions for us in chat as we're playing at any time. Uh, and also let me know if the audio is weird with the games. Sometimes they're loud. All right, let's play. Oh, I got move us. Just go to the corner. Oh, much smaller now. Yep. You guys don't have to look at us as much. <laughs> I think that's a good place to put it. I don't know. I want to make this bigger. Can you guys? Can you guys even hear the game audio? It's not showing up that it's playing, but we'll see. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger for us. Uh, oh wait, that's our illusion. I'm blind, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's make it full screen. Oh, what? oh nope, no, that's not where I wanted it. Okay, you guys can't see, but... Uh, uh, let's turn that off. Uh, oh, well. I realized the game had like a temperature of Fahrenheit or Celsius. So yeah, I didn't know that either. Interesting um, level of detail. Is there only full screen and... Can't you manually resize the... Can I? <gasps> so you can. <laughs> oh no, now it looks all weird on the... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys, give us a second. Are you developers of this work? No, no we're not. <laughs> we're not. We are developers of games like Moon Hunters and Shattered Planet and the upcoming Shrouded Isle. We are not developers of this war of mine, but we do like this game a lot. Huge fan of this game. It's really great. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, you know what? I think it's just. Are you okay with just making it smaller? Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, as long as it's fine for the stream itself. So. Yeah, um, until it looks fine on the stream. Okay. Sorry, guys. Well, as long as you fit it somehow. Yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Uh, Thanks, D. Rossler. But yeah, uh, welcome to the stream, kind of case 199. Uh, if you don't know. Feel free to just throw in any questions in chat if you feel like it. Sorry, just getting things set up. All right, so we are going to start, and let's go. Um, if you guys don't know, so this War of Mine is a game essentially about, obviously, war, but uh, less on the fighting side and more, I guess, the, civ the civilian side of war. Right. So it's about surviving for, uh, like I said, like a number of days. Uh, in a war-torn region of the world. And uh, I think in the initial scenario you have three people 
anyone with that that lived together? Um, and you're in this the dilapidated house, mm -hmm. and uh, you know um, there are certain things that are just uh, lying around the house that you can put together uh, to uh, fix yourself a bed or uh, you know uh, fix the uh, stove, whatever. But inevitably, uh, you know, someone has to uh, leave uh, the home at night and then run out into the war zone to uh, scavenge for goods. Yes. Uh, do you also you should definitely play this. Um, and come in case one nine nine. We are not we are not pro players at all. <laughs> do not do not expect any pro playing from this. All right. So first we have Padley, I guess. Um, oh gosh. Okay, I don't, I'm not even sure what to do first. It's been a long time since yeah. I played this. I guess the first thing to do... There's lots of things that you can just examine around the house. Yeah. Okay, well... Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna tell you guys it's hard to think and talk at the same time. <laughs> so, if I'm playing even worse than normal, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, so one of the things that I think is really interesting about this game, and let me take this moment to pause so I can talk properly. Um, so one of the things about this War of Mine, I think, and Shrouded Isle that is really interesting, and games kind of like it, it's like, I like how it kind of puts people in a different perspective, okay. and really seeing, like, how would you react in this scenario? Um, oh god, what is this? Okay. Oh, we don't even have enough for that. Sorry. Okay, I want to find. Right, let's clear this pile up. And you can. So compared to the shot at all, it takes yeah. like a much more like a uh, personal perspective, right? Mm -hmm. uh, instead of uh, you know you like managing an entire village uh, for survival, you're looking at like three specific people, and then. Um, you have to uh, care about their physical as well, as well as their mental health. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, like uh, because like uh, everything has to be done through these characters, it's very like absolutely critical uh, that you know, like someone has to sleep while uh, someone's eating, like you know, someone like has to be building and so forth. Uh, just, uh, but at the same time, uh, making sure that like the things that you are doing uh, aren't uh, psychologically harmful to them. Like, uh, like later phases of the game, uh, when you're scavenging. Like you have the option to, for instance, like rob like an uh, innocent uh, elderly couple of uh, their food, uh, which is completely advantageous for you from a materialist perspective. But it does such psychological harm to your character mm -hmm. that it like, is not worth it for you. And it it uh, you know addresses those uh, moral questions uh, in a systemic way, which is super fascinating. Yeah, definitely. Um... Okay, in this case, yeah, like uh, so over time you are. So Slowly, like scavenging like uh, various aspects of the house. Like, for instance, like uh, you're digging through the uh, the heap on the right side as well, so, uh, and collecting uh, basic resources. Mm -hmm. And so, like, uh, it's interesting that they uh, took a the, the, this war point surprisingly takes like a very uh, materialistic aspect as well compared to the Shrana, mm -hmm. uh in that. Um, like ultimately, because these characters need to survive somehow, and like uh, there are like there is just is, is not enough in this house. You are uh, forced to figure out the, like the most efficient way to do things, but that in turn uh, allows you to uh, develop the characters more uh, because well now um, every character like every character who's healthy is important. Every character who's mentally fit is also important. Mm -hmm. I cannot. Oh wait! Oh, that door's locked, isn't it? Oh no! No, 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 no. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I guess. I realize, like with dark games, you could really go either way. Whether it's you want it to be more, like in the Shrouded Isles, Shrouded Isles case, it's more I guess spiritual um, values, like it, well, ignorance and fervor and all that. But this is, like as you said, materialistic. A little more. Much more so. And um, and in, at, at a certain point in that development for the Shroud of Isle, like, uh, there was a choice to, like, as far as uh, whether uh, you could, like, you know, indeed make a, like, a survive, much more like physical survival focused experience. Mm -hmm. You know, it is a harsh island to live in. Uh, you know, maybe the food is scarce, uh, maybe the storms batter the shelters and so forth. And uh, we intentionally uh, 
chose to go with like much more uh, uh, psychological or spiritual uh, resources instead, uh, because like you know, like many games like uh, this world might have the handle of uh, you know physical resource management so much better already, mm -hmm. and. Um, and also, uh, we really wanted to uh, emphasize uh, the, uh, um, I guess, like uh, your uh, relationship to the dark god, uh, who uh, is not like obviously present, but everyone like talks about him. Like you know, like he, he doesn't really appear during the core experience, but uh, he like you know, like uh, because of the the role of religion in the Shroud of the Isle. Uh, like the context of the island is very different mm -hmm. compared to here, where everything is very much evident. Uh, you know, we are rummaging through the house where we need food, uh, we need to build a bed, and so mm -hmm. on. Oh gosh, okay. Oh. I'm not sure there's anything else to do here. I think, oh wait, can you, no, I think that's locked. Okay. Honestly, it's kind of hard because yeah. right now our, our game is like super minimized, so it's kind of hard to tell what the icons say. I can't tell which doors are locked in or not right now. I have to like lean in. Uh, okay, this is locked. Is there a, like there was a crafting bench or something? Oh, uh, there is a crafting bench. I don't think we have enough. Re oh, we might have picked up more resources. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ooh, we need to build a bed. Have one. Oh, let's put it here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like these kinds of like, I guess, darker games. They, I feel like they just they always have an interesting hold on people. Like, whether it's the mystery or it's just the gloomy nature of it. There's something, There's something about uh, it. haunting about the experience. Like after mm -hmm. uh, you stop playing. Um, and it, it's an interesting balance, uh, you know. Like I'm attracted to like uh, survival horror games uh, mm -hmm. for the same reason, uh, but like uh, sometimes you know, um, before like uh, like uh, in between sessions, there's kind of this like uh, this pretend, uh, like this like you know like this uh, uh, fear of the experience. Like I know it'll be stressful. I know I'll have to be have, like uh, you know, making difficult uh, choices and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, but like at the same time, you're right that there's like a certain hold over you. Like it just Makes you keep thinking about it. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, I was just checking what the temperature was here. Ah, would you? Okay, what would you like? Would you like a radio, a stove, another bed? I guess anything else. We're not having moonshine. I mean, a stove would be useful for making food, but I believe you can fix the main stuff. Really? Um, I know there are components required. Um, I don't think. Nah. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, we'll make a stove. Okay. Gotta eat. Then the kitchen. Place. Nice. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what to sleep. Okay. Uh, so the characters, uh, yes. if you look at, I mean, it's a little bit hard to see from our screen, but mm -hmm. like each of the characters have a specialty. Like, you know, Marco is a skilled scavenger. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Uh, and then I believe one of the other characters is a good cook and so forth. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's so as far as uh, like making your like uh, differentiating the characters and like you know making them seem like uh, you know people and not mm -hmm. just like you know uh, just a stat sheet like uh, that, that's easy to do like uh, it's interesting that they went for a very uh, minimalist uh, style yeah uh, so that you see their like uh, the portrait and you see that mm -hmm. you know what their specialty is and you kind of project yourself into it and uh, so like the the trade system in the shadow Island is very similar in that regard and that you know like uh, we don't have like you know ten different stats for a given person in the village but you know you see that they're a pyromaniac you see that you know they uh, yeah yeah and then you kind of like mentally you know project uh, you know what that person would be mm -hmm. so it's an interesting similarity there. That's true. Um, they say okay, you can sleep in bed. Right. Uh, do we need a guard? I don't, I don't think right now we need a guard. Probably for first turn, it's okay. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but who knows? I don't know. Who knows? We're gonna do this. Okay. Uh, um, let's go. Some food. Huge amounts of materials. Uh, lots of parts. Huge amounts of materials. Lots of weapons. Lots of parts. Huge amounts of food. Food. I want that. 
Oh, danger though. Mm, not ready for danger right now. Some food? Yeah, we need at least some food. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I don't think we even have anything. Nothing more fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna go. Yeah. We're just gonna do this. Yeah. Alright, so this is, if you guys haven't played it before, this is the scavenge port scavenge portion of the wait, maybe I should look first. Uh, it becomes a this like interesting uh, stealth game uh, in this phase. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a uh, very much a risk to reward and uh, trying to collect those uh, as much as you can. Um, I should have grabbed that all right there. Put it down there. And uh, there's also always a concern about I didn't go what what are we really doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I'll try not to die. Why did I just take one for? Oh, I just did. Yeah. Oh God. Okay, you know what? Yeah, well, you need some space for food, but you know, I guess we'll deal with that later. Exactly. Okay. And we're inside the house. Right. So right now there doesn't seem to be any imminent danger. Yeah. But okay. I mean, the roof is on fire, but you know. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah, the roof is on fire, which <laughs> well, is unfortunate, and there is a war going on. Also unfortunate. But all things considered, it's well, okay. Yeah, that's great. Uh, what is yeah. this? Clean water. Ooh, definitely. Sugar. Sugar. Yeah. Uh, I think that's more for moonshine. Yeah, you're right. Uh, herbs? Probably one for the meat as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all meat. I thought that... I remember the first time I ever played this, I thought it was candy. <laughs> and I could not figure out why they're... Like, candy was just so important. This is on fire, there is no danger. I mean, if my house caught fire, I probably wouldn't come inside. <laughs> That's just, you know, if you were in a war-torn city... Wait, no, I guess you still wouldn't want to go inside. Yeah, I don't know. Did I even check this bridge? I think you did. Okay. Uh... Um, yeah, so one of the things about this game is just that you can alert... Right now, there isn't anyone in the house, but in more dangerous places, there might be people. And if you walk, uh, you might they might hear you, and they might come and shoot you. So that's why you're seeing the little, I guess, sonar. The sound waves. Yeah, the sound waves. Oh, it's a toy. We don't need it right now, so I'm sorry. We can't take it. Oh, that's... Okay. Uh, there's also... There must be meds upstairs or something. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um. Nope. Still more important. Do you think? Uh, okay, I'll take the components later. Fresh. Oh no! I don't have a. I don't have a thing to open the lock. Oh, well, there's something downstairs. What I, is it? I'm pretty sure it's a rat. Yeah, it's a rat. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to scare me, it almost got me. But I mean, you know, like uh, it's interesting that, like, you know, like all it's doing is like just a red pulse down there, mm -hmm. um, but you just get the sense of danger, and like uh, it, it, there's like it builds suspense without uh, you know doing very much with it, which is fascinating. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a good way to signal danger without having to actually put on the screen, "Hey, this is dangerous." Right. Okay, that's smart. Let's scavenge through this. Uh oh. That's not really scavenging. Oh my gosh, that's taking forever. Oh wait, oh we have a lot of time. So yeah, there's a timer, just so you guys know. So you can't spend too long in one area. Getting shot does not sound very fun. Probably should avoid that. I agree. I agree. Getting shot is not fun. I mean, I'm not speaking from personal experience, but I hear it's not fun. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Usually you could have tools to do this. Uh, I think it was a shovel, but we didn't find one, so... Oh, well. Here we are using our hands like peasants. Um, oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> Wait, is that... <laughs> but, like, you know, even knowing that it's a rat, it's like, yeah. so uh, stressful to see that. Definitely. Um, and so in a lot of ways for, um, I guess, uh, we were talking about, like, games with darker themes, it, it, it's as much about, like, you know, what you don't show or what you imply. Mm. As much as the ones actually explicitly shown, it's true. Right. That is very true. I'm trying to think of games that do that. Um, I was going through uh, that new game, Little Nightmares. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, no spoilers in case any of you want to watch it or play it, but it's, it's weird. 
it's weird in a good way, <laughs> in a creepy good way, and it doesn't tell you much, I think, about what's how oh serious. Shoot. Okay, it doesn't tell you much about what's going on, I guess. God dang. That's all. I guess we still have a few hours there. Yeah. Anyways, yes. <laughs> Does it tell you too? Have you played it? I haven't played it. I only saw it. I've seen like brief videos of it. Yeah, it doesn't tell you much, I guess, about the actual lore. Um, and I'm someone who I really hate anything scary. Like I'm really bad at scary games, but I just love going into like the lore of games. Like I was reading Wikipedia articles about Outlast oh, because I just wanted to know. For sure. Yeah, and it's just. I think it's honestly fascinating how people find that kind of stuff interesting. Because in, in retrospect, like, um, why would you want to play a little girl who's being chased by things in Little Nightmares? Because I don't want to spoil it. Or like, you know, why would you want to uh, sacrifice someone in a cult in so the Shrouded Isle? It's an interesting question. You know, like, why do you, like, you know, voluntarily like, engage in a, like, what is what claimed to be a horrific experience, mm -hmm. right? Like, with something that is intentionally traumatic. Um, but, like, there's a deep, uh, like, a subconscious appeal to it, I'd say. Like, sometimes, like, you know, there's something about it, like, because it's so long, it fascinates you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely challenges, like, what you think of it. Uh, oh, no. What you think is normal. Okay. Uh, is that tomato? Oh, yeah, that's a tomato. What is that? Okay. I think that's a tomato. That's tomato. Yeah. Uh, okay, we have only one meat, but I think that's important. I don't think we need all of these components. Is that a book? Good book. <laughs> Ooh, but they can be fuel for a state. Yeah, dark times. Dark times. Books will help. Yeah. Herbal meds. Okay, yes. Herbal meds are more important than our herbs and tomatoes. <laughs> Oh, fertilizer. Never mind. Okay. Oh, later, I guess. Later, this will be important. Coffee? No. Are you good with our haul? Yeah, I mean, it'll get us through the next couple of days. Yeah. Gone Home is a creepy game, even though it's not scary at all. Agreed. It's... It's weird. It, it's so about expectations it's in so many ways, right? Mm. I mean, like, uh, you know, you go back to your house, like, it's completely empty on a rain, like, in the middle of a rainstorm. What the hell is going on? Like, that's yeah. creepy as hell. It's true. Like, uh, I remember in high school, like, well, one day, like, I forgot to lock my door. Like, you know, I went to the school and I came back. I forgot, you know, I forgot that I forgot to lock the door. Um, but, you know, the door is wide open and, you know, no one's home. And it's just like, even though, like, basically nothing had happened, like, you know, mm -hmm. that, that sense of suspicion just kind of like, sticks with you for the rest of the day, you know? Yeah. Um, okay, so. Okay. What is wrong with these people? Uh, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Don't have to block you for a second. Okay, so sleep poorly and uh, hungry. Okay. Oh, wow. The... Okay, so he's tired. Sick. There, he's hungry. Slightly he's like boy. He's just hungry. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah, he can just cut open. What? Okay, oh, wait, wait that's. Okay. Let me just minimize this again so everyone can see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um. Oh, oh, we got it? Yeah, we got it. <laughs> Plus enough, you guys. Struggles. Um, this is cooking, right? Yes. Oh, shoot. Oh, we need fuel. Fuel. Uh, I, mean, I think you can make fuel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Not pro players. Not pro players. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can make fuel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just make four? No, wait. We need to. I think it was two for food, so okay. we'll see. We'll whatever. We'll see how this goes. Um, oh, oh well. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for staying on, DD Rossler. Uh, there's plenty of materials around. We could build something useful. <laughs> More we could Thanks. cook food. <laughs> You're hungry, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like little parts like that too. Like, it doesn't take uh, like you know significant like effort to make them. Like I mean, like I'm not like the like, writing takes effort, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, as far as like uh, the total amount of effort uh, from a team to like give, like uh, make a character like a uh, feel like an actual person, like like just little comments like that everywhere. Like it just adds so much to like your Bruno being a person. Then, like, yeah. 
Okay. So you can make three. Are you going to have vegetables? Oh, well. No. Okay. It's going to be a cooked food. <laughs> make. Love a good night's sleep in a proper bed. Yeah, so then. Maybe we should make it. Maybe we should make We can afford one more bed, I think. Was, uh, was he the one that uh, did that? The run last night? Or? No, he did. Oh, okay. I think he just didn't have a bed to sleep in, so he yeah. slept poorly, unfortunately. Yeah. Where are you going, man? He's... He's looking at me. Heard about aggressive groups, yeah. <laughs> Is he talking to the wall? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm trying to think of if there were any... Can you think of any games that had like really bright colors but was dark? Um, Sexy Brutal came out recently. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You played that game, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a... Sexy Brutal is basically a murder mystery game, I believe. Kind of. Yeah. Um, so, uh, a whole lot of murders happen, like, uh, over the course of, uh, 12 hours in a, like, a casino mansion. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> you as a main character have the ability to reset the time and try to prevent, uh, those murders from happening. And each time you prevent the murder, uh, you learn something more about why the killings are happening in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so you slowly unravel the mystery. Uh, but like a, it has like a super bombastic, uh, colorful look to it, really embracing the casino spirit, I guess. <laughs> I've heard the music too, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's really you know, jazzy. And, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's interesting on how, like, the different ways you can make something spooky or even. Like, not even that spooky, I guess, if you... I'm trying to think of game, another game that was... I mean, Binding of Isaac, I think, was... It's not a horror game, but... It's, that, it's one of those games that doesn't make you feel bad about really killing anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's, it's a very grotesque game, but at mm -hmm. the same time, like, uh, something about that also is appealing, but that's one, like, I guess... Something about the dirtiness, I guess. Okay, so you're okay. done eating, so you're fine. You're a big cook. Okay, well, you should build something, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's build something. These guys are just slacking off because they're sleepy. I hope we'll manage to keep it. Oh, no, we don't have that. Okay. That's the only thing we can make is a radio, which might be important. We can hear okay. news. Um, what do we need for some of the workshops, though? Uh, we need oh, wood, which we used for the, uh, yeah, uh, what we're getting to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should... It doesn't cost wood, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> yeah, let's make it. Okay. That would be me during a war, just in bed asleep as everything blows up. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I think that would be me too. I think... I've already said this, but if there were a zombie apocalypse, I am not trying to survive. I will. I do not want to deal with any of that. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's like, the easiest thing to do is just, like, stay at home as much as possible, right? It's like, <laughs> why go outside? Like, you know bad stuff is outside, and you'll be hungry for a while, and then, you know, okay. Then oh. You'll just deal with it, I guess. Um, I remember reading about, like, an actual war zone survivor. Oh. Um, and they were talking about people who, th like, think of themselves as survivalists and had to, like, you know, like, kind of stockpile for a while, and then mm -hmm. do it carefully with ash and stuff. But in practice, uh, because um, it takes so like at wars take so long, and the uh, um, the devastation lasts for such a long time, um, it's actually like you know it doesn't make a big difference that you're like you know being selfish and you know mm -hmm. like, just hoarding uh, the resources. In fact, people who are sharing uh, tend to survive better over time. Mm -hmm. And so it's like. Uh, in uh, in this war of mine, uh, you know, you occasionally have uh, visitors that come by to your door, um, and you know they'll trade with you, or like you know even like uh, during the night of excursions, you know you get to interact with people, and you know you can be like a very very selfish if you want for a short term gain. Uh, but I I also wonder like as far as like uh, you know the game balance is concerned, like how that works out. You know, mm -hmm. like, do you have to be selfish to survive, or like you know is there a way to uh, uh, keep your sense of self while um, you know while still getting to the end of the game. Yeah. I think that's just a lot of things you need to keep in mind when you're developing a game like this, because there are so many things you could potentially make a challenge. Yeah, for sure. Right? Um, like, I know with this war of mine, you have to entertain them, because they could get unhappy. 
uh, this guy was asking for cigarettes, which also could keep him happy, I guess. Food, water, sleep, medicine, all those things. Um, I gotta say that there's a time to quit. It's like, you know, in the middle of a war. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, but it's a it's an interesting game because it does put you in that idea like, oh, if I were in this situation, what would I actually do? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right? <laughs> and I guess, as we can all see, we are not dealing with any of this. Yeah. Okay, so you can sleep. I don't know. You can sleep in a bed. We have two beds, so it's fine. Good cook, sleep in a bed. And then skills oh, scavenger. Yeah, scavenge. Scavenge. Lots of food. Lots of food. Caution advised. Caution advised. Lots of parts. Any place you want to go? Um, I mean, you don't have a particular need for anything other than just a bit of wood. Um, some are different though. Yeah. I think, I think we just let's just get more food. I feel like having food is never a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, we well, still have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> bad run, yeah, guys. Just stay tuned in the war. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rough time. It's rough times. Okay. Can you... I forgot if you can... Oh shoot, I didn't mean to walk. Scavenging... Alright. You know, like, uh, in most games, like, uh, backtracking uh, feels like a chore. Uh, but the, the way... Uh, because, like, resources are so limited in the game, mm -hmm. like, uh, if you know that, like, you know, a previous place, like, you know, the house that we went to last night, like, it still has, you know, some stuff. Or like, you know, there was a, hey, the locked door that we didn't open, whatever. Like, there's this temptation that, hey, we know it's safe, like, you know, let's mm. go back and, you know, re-examine. Like, maybe we missed something, like, maybe right. we forgot to, like, take that one piece of meat or whatever. It's, like, uh, the, yeah, like, the way, like, exploration works in this game is fascinating. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Usually I'm not a fan of backtracking in games. Oh, is that someone? No, yeah, that's not. It seems to be trap. Um, yeah, it's, it's oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, I need meds for my father. I don't uh, think I brought meds. Not that we have meds at all. What? No, oh, this is what items we want. Yeah, we have no meds, man. <laughs> Do you want some fertilizer? <laughs> Do you want some fertilizer? <laughs> Do you want to trade? Nothing special, but not bad either. Okay. A vegetable? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> With fertilizer, you can get more vegetables. Right? Oh, man. Okay. Meat? Oops. Uh, no, I don't want coffee beans. Okay, not interested. Okay. So I could potentially, I mean, if I had a weapon, I'd fight him. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is hiding. Okay. But, uh, it's looking like the bus. No. Man, I can't barter. I don't have anything. I mean, I have these. You need to haggle first. I mean, I don't really have anything of interest though. Okay, let's try that. Fine. I mean, what do you want though? Okay. A vegetable? It won't do. Try harder. Meat? What if I take out one meat? What? I mean, we could put more. You're kidding? I just tried this for you, man. <laughs> oh gosh. Can't trust anyone in the war. Uh, oh, yeah, you haven't played it. I don't know why I thought that you would know. Well, that wasn't empty all of it. Sometimes that happens. That's bad. Yeah, it's real. I mean, it's realistic, I guess. That sometimes you just come back empty handed. I think we might actually switch games, though, soon. <laughs> um, We've been raided? No. Oh, okay. shoot. They stole our meat and water. No, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh! That was a terrible run, but we're gonna switch over to Reigns now because I want to talk more about system design because it has a really interesting gameplay method, I guess. All right, let's switch right now. Any last thoughts about this war of mine? Oh, uh, not really. Okay, so I make sure I'm not exiting something we don't want to do. Oh, there's a modding center now. That wasn't there last time I saw it. Ooh, hey look, that's our Twitter. Okay. Alright. 
Let us do reigns. So, for those of you who don't know what reigns is, it's, I guess that's the best way to describe it. It's like a kingdom, Game of Thrones like simulator with a system interface like Tinder. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it plays we, like Tinder, I guess. <laughs> you swipe left, go right. Yeah. That's something. You know, we're introducing you to cool games. It's also on... Oh, oh yeah, I was testing it out. It's also on mobile. It started off on mobile, actually. Let me just put down just in case. No voiceover. Oh, there's voiceover for the... Oh, nice Apparently. Quit. Oh, oh, no, no, no! no. Okay, well. Ah. I'm an expert. <laughs> Back. Alright. So, welcome to Reigns. Yeah, so you basically swipe right if you want to do the thing. It depends on the context, <laughs> but for the most part, yeah. Uh, here we go. Alright. So you get a deck of cards, and you say yes or no. I am the young king. So you're the one who you uh, usurped <laughs> my throne and sent me to this dungeon to rot for eternity? No. <laughs> We're gonna charge with a mess now. Good luck with that. They're all pretty crazy. You'll see. Who? What? <laughs> who? Just try to keep a balance between the four powers to keep your head on the shoulders. Will do. Spirit looks at you thoughtfully. Oh, looks thoughtfully. Looks at you thoughtfully, then disappears. <laughs> all right. So this is our first. Give us enough power to enforce the divine justice in your country. The Pope is ready to pay the price. Hmm. Okay, so religion. I haven't played this before, you guys, just so you know. Whoops. Uh, let's go. No. And you'll notice that the uh, stats changed. Yes. Would you like to marry the young princess of a neighboring kingdom? Yes! The city, a large, an earthquake was destroyed. What's your order? Save the victims? Red pillaging. Let's see, save the victims. Oh, and then my money goes down. Okay. Right, and if you look carefully, you'll notice that like it shows you the like how big of an impact it'll have, but it yeah. doesn't predict whether it's positive or negative. Oh yeah, I see that. No, I'm sorry, I need money. But I mean, based on what they said, you can kind of guess what'll happen. Uh, yeah. But again, it's still guesswork. Cold as winter. You can't yeah. help the people. I can't help. I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> Governed five years. Five years. Done not it. Bad, not bad. I have a gift for you in one of my hands. Right, left. Which one? Uh, right hand. Nice. Okay, nice. Guy Brosh, loose tongue, gives you a golden cross and he runs away shrieking. Okay. But I mean, what's really amazing about this game is like how much uh, it encapsulates uh, the experience of uh, like uh, being a ruler mm -hmm. uh, in such a simple interface, right? I mean, just yeah, swipe left or right, uh, and like all the scenarios that they give you are like a very uh, like you, you understand very quickly what's going on, and you see the like a proximate impact of your choices very quickly as well. And so, like you know, like we've been playing for like. You know, 30 seconds, <laughs> and, uh, you know, but like we get how this works, and yeah. uh, there's still surprises coming. Uh, it's it's fascinating how elegant everything about this is. Werewolves or general werewolves? <laughs> cool lack of what I Ooh. send the church or send the army. The church doesn't like me as much. Yeah, it's a really easy game to pick up, honestly. Um, the harvest is a nightmare, people are famished, please decrease taxes. Fine. Wow, big impact there. Oh, oh no. no! No! Oh, this is why you don't decrease taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Own everything. What? what? Oh, I lost. You're tortured and your body is thrown to the dogs. Uh oh. Ouch. <laughs> Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Never decrease taxes. Okay, I was I was named Harry the Greedy, apparently. Let's try this one more time. Long oh. the king. Win a duel, recruit the doctor, and meet the doctor. 
And you're back. No. Okay, <laughs> okay let's go to the game. I don't know who the spirit is. Yeah, it's actually, um... Kind of does, actually, I guess, technically. It's a little bit like this, because you are a ruler. Right. Or a priest, I suppose. So, uh, when looking at the raids, uh, I, what I was fascinated by was uh, the way uh, that your choices... Uh, so, like, it, it's not always going to result in a balance, right? It's not like it's going to, like... Uh, like Different stats will go up and down based on uh, the choices that you make, uh, but like uh, there's something inherently imbalancing about mm -hmm. uh, about it, and it might be in the cards. But like I wanted to capture that sense of uh, like because I sided with the black horns this time, like and that's yeah. gonna have consequences later with the Cadwalls, or because uh, you know my uh, the fervor of the times low and I focused on it this turn, uh, that's gonna uh, it's going to impact something else. And so uh, the way the uh, the work phase uh, worked in the Shroud of Obvious, uh, uh was uh, hugely influenced by Reigns. Mm. Oh, new cards. New cards. Because I got the Doctor. Yeah, so I can see the influence that came from Reigns. Um, a young woman claims that her son is in fact your bastard. Should we make this problem disappear? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh shoot. Oh wait. Oh, ah. <laughs> nice. Okay. okay. Provide uh, the army is bored to death. Go exercise. I don't last time I ran out of money too. Go exercise. Oh nice. All positive. Um I'd like to build a school in the capital for the enlightenment of the people. No. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Use the monies. I'm regrouping the banner of the terrible Sunday army. I do want to win a duel. Call for six five. No! No. Oh wow. Transmutation? I don't have the money for that. Sorry. Should I close the gates of the city? Um, yes. No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is difficult. Yeah, it's. Cause, okay, so in the Shredded Island, you do have to obviously balance a lot of the values that they have um but i i know in the so if you guys don't know the, the shrouded isle used to be a game jam game and it was called the sacrifice and that was based more on i guess the materialistic aspects of running a village right i mean basically like the simple needs of us like so the resources at the time were all food and shelter and uh, faith and secrecy and um, a part of the challenge there, compared to uh, like uh, compared to the way our reigns works right now, was that we had like a five different families uh, and the four resources. And so, uh, like finding a specialty for uh, each of the families was awkward. Um, and also, like finding um, because like. Uh, You'll see this in a, like in like future playthroughs, but for for reigns, uh, even if you max out uh, a certain stat, it's like it's actually bad. Right? The game will end because like you know the the military is too strong and they'll like start coup d'état, or like the game will end because the peasants rebel and so forth. Um, but in, in our case, because you know like uh, well, why would you not max out food and just live happily ever after? You why would you not max out shelter <laughs> yeah. and, and so forth? Uh, and so like. Um, the uh, the physical resources and the other stats we had at the time uh, felt unworkable, which is why um, it's gone. And uh, we have the uh, new um, uh, the moral values and the uh, the family um, uh, approval ratings right now. Um, I mean that being said, like I do appreciate how elegantly they combine, like how well your town is doing, um, mm -hmm. along with um, how powerful that faction is, because you know, that usually does go hand in hand. Like if your military is strong, then your military, the military's influence over you often uh, becomes strong as well. You know that's how creators happen. Or like if your town is rich, then the merchants obviously will have a strong influence over you. So right. Uh, but in this case, no, the army is too weak to resist. Uh, uh, no. Okay, uh, it's because okay. So I was like in this loop with the barbarian. I was like just. Stop. <laughs> so I tried to get out. And it ended up that the army was bad at this. 13 years, though, in power. 
I wonder if you um, if you can easily like get into like a like a no win situation uh, in the rains and like you know, at some level like because uh, the end comes relatively quickly mm -hmm. and that uh, you can just keep replaying it's not a big deal uh, but it, I do wonder about like uh, if you like you know like the downward spiral what do you do if you keep getting bad cards one after yeah the that's true like, yeah I think I wonder. I should have looked into this before, but do you know if like this was specifically made because Tinder was so popular? Um, like this, you, this interface, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do believe Tinder was an influence, but I, I can't say for sure. Yeah. But it works. What can I say? <laughs> Defend. Why? Uh, why? Fake news. PRs pop in the head. Like what? What? This is pretty random. What is happening? <laughs> what is this? Has a full boyfriend? Pigeons everywhere? Oh? No. Oh. Talking pigeons? No, he knows. Dun, dun. Dun. Yes. Uh, yes. Would you have believed a pigeon? Sure. Don't listen. I proved that he was not even born. What is happening right now? <gasps> oh, no, no, no. What? I. Oh. Blackbird or the Blackbird? I feel like I. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Take a black and white position. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I just. It's a. It's honestly. It's so simple, but it's so charming yeah. in the way it's presented. I need money. Yes. Creepy, but okay. <laughs> awesome. That's fun. Uh, are attacking your own hero by enlisting the population? Sure. I want to win a duel. Gold piece. No. So, sure. Money. No. Is this on Steam? Yeah, yeah it's on it Steam, it's on Android, and it's on iOS. Yep. Yeah, so I think I think it actually originally started off as a mobile game, and then it got really popular. I think it actually has, like, mm, nope, that's a different game that I'm thinking about. But yeah, it's real popular, so you can get it on Steam, on <coughs> iOS, or Apple. Uh, no. If I lose money for that, look under the throne, look under the missile. Is it partial? Arr. That's ominous. Sure, send men to the borders. No. Sure. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot, money. Oh, we have a dog. I don't know why always having like an animal pop up in games seems like the most charming thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's quite adorable, yeah. Um... Sure. I want to eat the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh! Baby. Oh, wow! Interesting. Yeah. I can help. This is cool. I didn't know that. I feel like this makes the game easier. It does. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So, um, I think... Oh god. How about the doctor? <laughs> this makes it so easy. I'm confused. If it's... Be careful not to max it out. Oh yeah, yeah, that was one of the things about the game, is that you actually don't want to max out right. one of your skills. Yeah, yeah. Uh... That's also an interesting mechanic. Yeah, I guess. just trying to maintain the balance. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Right. Um, I think. Yeah, because um, so I've been going through the Shrouded Islands. Definitely, also very hard to balance um, how much the families like you. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys haven't seen, or um, for the Shrouded Isle, a huge component of it is one maintaining all the values. 
um, and also making sure that the house leaders like you, the families like you. So almost like this, but double the amount because we have actually more than <laughs> double the amount of yeah. things you need to keep track of. You definitely need to try this game. It's great. Um, sure. Shoot. Ah, you can't do that. You lose. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Oh wow, it actually shows a question mark for some reason. That's, oh. That's not so oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> not your fault though. I mean like you have clerk oriented, but it's still yeah. It's still an orc. No. And you're left with pigeons to roll over. That's not bad. <laughs> huh. Would you like to? Uh sure, whatever. Let's go down the strong it's time to shine. Let's see if you can do better than me. Yeah. So yeah, it's honestly, so many games are doing so many cool things right now. Um, there's a lot of things to, I think, draw inspiration from. Uh, oof. 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 Um, oh, and if you guys haven't seen uh, our Studio Buddies co-op mode, uh, they made uh, Nog, which is a really cool um, puzzle VR game. Um, it's all on PlayStation right now, so if you guys want a cool game to play, that is also a good one. Uh, okay. Um, oh, you lost Claire Boyens. I okay. was going to stay. Yeah, I mean, you know, the roller was dead. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I did. That was a lot bigger than I thought. Whoops. That was... I... Get a PlayStation. Whoa, what? Wow, that was fast. How did you die so fast? I made bad choices. Now we know <laughs> you're not fit to be a king. Try again. Try again. Let's do it. Let's see what we can. Yeah. We'll be wrapping up the stream soon. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to phone at us. Here, um, here's a different one. Oh, oh lose yourself in a dungeon. No, you okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But Dark traps. There's no way. <laughs> this is doing a half way. For PlayStation, I feel that. I. Oh. Whoa. Slightly bloody ones. Ah! <gasps> well, uh, wrong. <laughs> what? Yeah, um, you know, I actually don't really understand the rules of the, that dueling system either. Um, oh well. It's a, it's a game with no instructions, which isn't bad. I think, <laughs> yeah. it, I think it teaches you things really well. Oh, yeah, you got it. We got an achievement. Sweet. Great. <laughs> you can, you yeah. can keep going. But th there's a lot of like a little uh, secrets to, uh, or even big secrets to discover in the game. Um, th as you see, like uh, the meet the devil uh, stuff, plus like that uh, becomes like this like overarching like uh, meta plot uh, for the game, and then uh, you're trying to uh, defeat the devil from like uh, controlling uh, your uh, bloodline essentially, which is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you have, if you're still have no money for PlayStation. PlayStation. It's okay, because there's this game. There's a lot of other games out there that you can definitely afford. Okay, there's um, a practice. Oh, game. I see. So. Oh, so you can advance or... Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna try... Okay. What? what? Oh. oh! But it was practice. Oh, okay. So not bad. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. Well, yeah. One of the things I know I wanted to ask you on stream was, if you had any, I guess, advice for people who wanted to get into game development, just because I know a lot of people find it a little intimidating sometimes, or just confusing, maybe. Right. Absolutely. Um. You'll have to be a bit more specific on that because you yeah. know, like. Uh, what's interesting about like yeah, current day is because like yeah, there's huge, huge like you know uh, yeah, AAA developers and mm -hmm. yeah, there's much smaller studios like us um, and you know like there's solo artists uh, or like uh, there's like you know bigger so you know there's a whole range of things that you could be doing. Yeah. Um, in my case, uh, I went uh, through a game development program at uh, you know Vancouver Film School. 
Um, but like, you know, like a lot of people just, you know, straight up, like, you know, like they're self-taught or, you know, they go through like a more traditional, like a, they go through a CS program or so forth. So, I mean, like, uh, like, yeah, like if you had a more specific question, I'd be able to answer it better. Fair enough. Um, hello, Rick Blade. This is John Wu. He's our programmer at KitFox. So really not a guest, I guess, but <laughs> depends. I mean, I guess I am the host. When do you, when does someone count as a guest? That's the real question. Um, yeah, so we were talking, uh, you just tuned in, about some advice for getting into game development, I guess, for specific advice, because I asked a very vague question to John Wu. Um, you know, one of the first things would be, like, just if, like, what, what would be the best... Thing to I can't I think kind of like look into because you are like you are a programmer so I've asked Erica like if you had one piece of advice uh, to give a game artist or a starting a game artist who's starting out or wants to get into the industry like what's the one piece of advice you would give them? Okay, um, so you want advice specifically for a game programmer? Yeah, just about game programming. Okay, um, so the first thing I'll say is that uh, there's like a, a lot of different layers of programming, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, and so, uh, I put it to you this way. So the, a lot of the stuff that I do is like focus on gameplay programming and depending on, on the project that I'm working on, uh, sometimes it veers much more into the design, sometimes it veers much more into, um, into just like raw programming. Mm -hmm. Um, so if that's the kind of thing you want to do, um, then, uh, even like a working in simple, like much simpler engines that is like, it's a good starter. Like, like being able to like just complete your own game project of mm -hmm. any sort is a great starter. Uh, on the flip side, um, if you're much more into like the actual tech of games and maybe you, you're really into graphics programming and such, um, then, um, like I have less advice in that from because I have, <laughs> I'm not actually that person. Um, but I'm, I guess what I'm saying is like fundamentally knowing your motivation, I'd say, mm -hmm. is the most important thing. Um, because some people uh, might find, um, like, uh, you know, like at some level, like uh, just uh, breaking into the industry and figuring that out, like if that works in a sense. Um, but um, there's a lot of stuff. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, good. Uh, work, uh, programming work in games that is actually has nothing. Whoa, what? Well, what, 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 what did you do? Wow. <laughs> uh, I think I got the devil. You got the devil. Time is gone. Oh. Um, Sorry, I totally into. Oh. Yeah. And you were saying it was so cute. But... Our dog is the devil. Sorry, I was inter I interrupted your. your... I mean, this is. Like a far more exciting. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Everything is just uh, going to hell. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Nice. Oh, each of your deaths is enjoyable. Wonderful. What is happening? 666 years. Dun dun dun. The next character you say yes to will die. Interesting. So this person will die? If you say yes. Um, so that person and all cards associated with that person will disappear. I... I'll keep him. <laughs> he seems suspicious because he's whispering in my ear. So you're dead. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Back to back to our questions. Um, I totally forgot where you were, though. Um, so I was talking motivations. Um, yeah. Um, if like I guess like uh, there's uh, two like uh, the big question in my mind if you're uh, going doing a program for games is like you know are you there for like specific like a tech related things that you want to explore mm -hmm. like there's interesting things like that stuff that's being done with uh, AI for instance right now that's using neural networks um, or like are you there because there's like certain games that you want to make mm -hmm. like or like uh, you know like do you want to be the person um, to, like uh, 
like a making the like the combat system mm. or like do you want to be the person like who's uh figuring out the like uh, the technicalities of how the animation is gonna work you know right um so like how close to the like a uh, like uh, the design and the perspective you want to be at right. um but like uh, regardless of that though like i think if you're uh, if you work on a personal project that uh, you know you can more or less complete by yourself you'll get a much more a broader understanding of all the different pieces that goes into mm -hmm. a game and so no matter like how simple of a tool set you pick like you know like i used to work in like rpg maker 2000 like that has to be my thing <laughs> did you was your first thing rpg maker yeah it really was yeah and uh, but like that's how i learned Everyone, about yeah. yeah it's just uh, like you know like you gotta start somewhere and like you know learning about variables and if that statements through that even like yeah, that gave me a slight leg up i guess but it just gave me like it made me think broadly about yeah, what goes into a game mm -hmm. right um so yeah like having like that broader understanding will help for game programming no matter what you're doing so, yeah, yeah sure and now we have this game but we are basically done so if you guys have any last minute questions for john woo or me i guess about programming, about the Shrouded Isle, about any of the games you played, I suppose, or anything at all, just throw it in the chat before we go. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining us for this later later night stream. I think next week we'll go back to our normal 4 p.m. time on Thursdays, but keep an eye out on our Twitter page uh, for updates on that. In case you guys don't know, we are Kid Fox Games. <laughs> Uh, on Twitter, we are also Kit Fox Games, Facebook, Kit Fox Games, Instagram, real Kit Fox Games. <laughs> and I'm always so sad when I say the Instagram handle. Yeah, and our game, The Shrouded Isle, is coming out soon. I haven't, we haven't said the date yet, but we'll, we'll let you guys know. Uh, and yeah, so if you guys want to wishlist that on Steam, it's coming out. It draws some influences from Reigns. Um, from Lovecraftian themes, it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty cool game. Um, I know I was super late, but thank you guys for the stream. Thanks for the stream. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, yeah. So if that's it, we will see you guys another day next week. I'm just gonna click. The oh, my <laughs> dad. That was fast. <laughs> Good way to end. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. <laughs>